Hey, it's Havoc, and today I'm gonna to show you how to bypass the Microsoft account requirement when you're installing Windows 11. Let's get into it. When you install Windows 11 on a computer, as soon as you get to this section where you're setting up your keyboard, your username, etc., Windows requires you to log in with your Microsoft account. And if you don't have one, it wants you to make one. And there's no real way to get around this that's visible right offhand. And just looking at the screens, they don't give you an easy way to actually get into the desktop without setting up that Microsoft account or signing in with the Microsoft account. However, there is a little trick. Let me show you. Right here, I have a system that's fresh. I just built it and I'm getting ready to install Windows on it. I've got Windows 11 on my USB thumb drive. So here we are. We're going to go ahead and do next. Install now. And I'll go through and it says set up a starting right here. You can click don't have a stream key. And we're going to choose the version of Windows 11 we want to install. For this example, I'm going to do Windows 11 Pro. We'll go ahead and accept the agreement. And we're going to do a custom because we don't want to do an upgrade or anything. We just wanted to do a fresh install. And what we have here is I've got three drives in this system. I'm going to install it to one of the M.2 drives that I have in here. And I'll click next. And it's going to start going through. It's going to create the partition and start installing Windows. When it's done, it'll reboot into the fresh factory install. And that's where I'm going to show you how to get by that little section that requires you to use a Microsoft account to get into Windows 11. Here we are. Windows is installed. And now we start going through the menus. So I am United States here. Pick that option. And then it'll go over here, keyboard method, US for me. I don't want to add a second keyboard, so I'll skip that. And then now what it wants to do is connect to a network. And this is the part that we don't want to do. And as you can see, it doesn't have an option to get past that. Because once we connect it to a network, it's going to force us to use a Microsoft account. So what we want to do here is press Shift and F10. And that will bring up a command prompt. And what we want to do here is we want to type OOBE and then a backslash bypass NRO. And I'll put that down in the description below as well. And what this is going to do is this is going to put it into the UBI, the out of box experience. A system builder builds up your computer. We'll put all the parts together, they'll install Windows on it, we'll fire it up and make sure everything works, all the drivers are installed, there's no errors, all the extra software, etc., is good to go and installed. But they don't want to send it to you that that way it's already logged into Windows. So what they do is they put it in the out of box experience, which puts you back into this menu system. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna put us back into the menu system we're currently in, but that bypass NRO, that's gonna bypass the option that forces us to do internet connection and allow us to bypass kind of what we're doing here with that Microsoft account. So. Let's hit enter and it's going to reboot the computer. And here you can see it dumped us back into the first startup menu again. So let me go over here. We'll do United States. Obviously you choose whatever country that you're in. Choose whatever keyboard layout, US. I don't want to do a new keyboard. And then you see now we have the option down here at the bottom that says, I don't have internet. We didn't have that before. So we're going to click that. And then it's going to say, you can now quickly get started. You want to connect now. We still don't want to connect now. What you want to do is click that continue with limited setup. And it's going to try to trick you like you're not going to get all the experiences, etc. So who's going to use the device? You'll type in your username and then you go through the rest of the menu system and you're in Windows 11 and you didn't have to use a Microsoft account. Now, maybe you do want to use a Microsoft account because it'll sync everything across multiple PCs and etc. I know I have an ROG Ally and I logged in the first time with the Microsoft account and it copied all the stuff that was like on my desktop, it copied it to the ROG Ally, which is not what I wanted because the storage space on that is limited, even though I had the storage upgrade. So it's a really good opportunity for you to bypass a Windows login on that so you don't have to put up with that Microsoft account. So I hope this helped you out. If it did, let me know down below. Always love helping everybody out as much as we can. And as always, stay safe, tell some you love them and keep doing good.